But the argument that's put forward is that Australia Day is is not inclusive to Indigenous people. But uh, I think, uh, uh, as you said, it's it's time to move forward and uh, also reflect on the Australian project because. You know, I think everybody recognises that things have happened in, you know, uh, Australian history that were wrong. Our governments have, you know, done, you know, bad things, not just to Indigenous people, but uh, other groups. But the, the great thing about Australia is that we recognise that they were wrong and our, our governments and our people uh, decided to, to change. And Australia Day is meant to reflect on you know the journey that we, we've been on and to celebrate that you know we are one of the wealthiest nations in the world we're also uh, one of the most you know multicultural where we're one of the world's success stories in in nations where we've overcome the the, the mistakes and yeah, reflect on just how lucky we are yeah um, exactly i mean that's the thing we uh, you know, it'd be different if we were a country run by a dictator who said no, you know, who, who was in fact racist and, um, you know, told Aboriginal people no to absolutely everything and you must remain, you know, you must remain marginalised. No, there is opportunity in this country and a lot of Aboriginal people have taken advantage of that opportunity. Uh, and again, those who say that they're, they are offended are more than likely of mixed heritage. So what are they offended by the percentage of them that is, is white fella? You know, it, it is an internal struggle that I believe a lot of activists have. With, and until they um, recognise that it is an internal struggle that they're dealing with and they're projecting that onto others, nothing's going to change for them. Um, healing doesn't, other people don't heal you. You have to do that within yourself uh, and, and, and to project, you know, your, your, your feelings of insecurity and your feelings of hatred toward others isn't, isn't healing you in any way, shape or form and it's not contributing to your wider community in a positive manner either. Um, and being offended, well, that's your choice but it's not everyone else's responsibility around you to change in order to make you feel better about yourself. And too often when we, you know, we see activism, the activist is about making you feel like crap to make them feel better. But it doesn't solve any internal issues and it doesn't solve the issues of the most marginalised people in this country who are going about, um, you know, not not having to, you know, say that they're a proud this or a proud that every five minutes. They're just being Aboriginal people in remote communities. You know, political correctness doesn't, has nothing to do with their lives. Identity politics plays no part uh, in the lives of the most marginalised Aboriginal people. They're not insecure about, insecure about their Aboriginality. They're just being Aboriginal uh, who are, happen to be the most marginalised Aboriginal people in this country uh, and just surviving, basically. They're not thriving, they're just surviving. Political correctness and, and guilt politics and all those sorts of issues play no part in their lives. All those issues play in the part of the lives of the activists and the left. And why? Because they're insecure about who they are. I mean, let's get real here. <laughs> the best, the best thing you can do as an individual is address your internal conflicts and your internal issues. The best things we can do as Aboriginal people is address our internal issues and solve our own problems for ourselves. This has been an unshackled fast. Please like, comment, and subscribe. While you're here, grab our free ebook at theunshackledbattlefield.net and visit theunshackled.net for all the latest news and commentary.